Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over two years ago, I posted that Google Drive for desktop had replaced the old backup and sync, which was the backup client if um, you were using and tied into the Google ecosystem. And just to let you know that I have noticed today in my region an update for Google Drive. And the reason I mention this update is because it includes a small but yet I think a significant little tweak and adjustment to the actual Google Drive backup client if you are using Google Drive to um, as your backup client on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now the latest version is 90.0.3.0 and my reason for mentioning this is because if we head to our settings once again and we click on offline files, yeah they have given us the ability to clear the cache which I think is a great move. So over and above being able to clear the cache, if you have any offline files, um, like I do, you can clear your offline files. You can clear your cache, which is great because your cache can increase in size, in size over months and years. And obviously, if that gets too big, it could use up unnecessary disk space on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 device. And I cleared mine this morning, that's why it's blanked out. And you can see cached files, zero, and offline files, 421.5 megabytes. So at this stage, um, if you clear your cache, uh, you don't have to worry. It's not going to affect any of your offline files or your files in the cloud. All it does is delete the cache. And the only drawback of this would be is um, if you head to your your offline files, as, in, as an example, on your actual local drive, they may at first take a little bit more longer and a little bit longer time to load because obviously that cache now has been cleared and your cache obviously makes accessing files a lot quicker um, and a lot faster. So that will be the only drawback, but nonetheless, uh, that shouldn't take too long to rectify itself. But I think this clear cache is a nice handy addition. And if you want to go to cache settings, you click on that link and there we go. It takes you directly over to your actual settings and um, I have noticed a couple of um, upgrades previously to Google Drive that you can limit the amount of storage on your computer used by cache, cached files. So limit won't apply to files that need to sync or files you make available offline. So if you want to limit that cache size, although it will still um, cache different files, it's going to limit it. So obviously it's going to, you know, Google Drive will kind of automatically figure out what uh, needs to be cached and won't be cached and so on. So I think this is a nice option. And this did roll out a little while back, but the main one here, as mentioned, is if we head back to those settings, you can now clear your cache, clear offline files, and you can go to your cache settings. So I think that's a nice improvement, small, but yet I think a nice move in the right direction. Just making managing um, your offline files and your storage if you are using Google Drive as your backup client to Windows 10 and Windows 11, a little, a little bit more functional and practical. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.